Welcome to the third part of this video tutorial series on level blueprints. In this video, we're going to take a look at a feature in Blueprint called Timelines. Timelines are a special kind of blueprint node that allow you to modify the value of a variable over time. They can be used for many things, such as moving objects or simply just changing properties. For this tutorial, we're going to use it to animate the brightness of a spotlight. Adding a timeline is quite simple. Click on Blueprints and open up the level blueprint. And if you right click, you can see we have this option here called Add Timeline. I'm going to call this brightness control and you can see that there are two outputs here the update pin and the finish pin finished fires when the execution of this timeline finishes and update fires generally every tick you can open up the timeline itself by double clicking and you can see here that we have this empty area where we can add different tracks there are four different kinds of tracks float track, vector track, event track and color track I'm going to start by adding a new float track and calling it brightness. We have a couple of controls here, zoom to fit horizontal and zoom to fit vertical, which you can use to manipulate. You can also use the mouse wheel in and out to zoom and use the right mouse button to pan around. To add a new keyframe, hold shift and simply click on the red line. And you can see that's a various keyframes here. I'm just going to drag these keyframes up and down to simulate what might look like a bit of a flickering light. Now you don't need to produce exactly the same as me. You can do this however you want. So. They can be quite finicky at times, so don't stress too much if you're having trouble clicking. There are a couple other important things that we need to pay attention to here. Number one is this use last keyframe checkbox. Now normally this grey area represents the duration of our timeline, all the way to five seconds. But if you check use last keyframe, the end of the timeline is determined to be uh, the point that the last keyframe sits at. Also for this, we want to make sure this timeline actually loops. So I'm going to check the loop button here. Click on compile. And if we jump back over to our event graph, you can see that we now have a new output pin here called brightness. And this is the value we're going to grab to set the brightness of our spotlight. Back in the map, I'm going to right click, click on Place Actor, and select Spotlight. I'm going to drag this up a little bit. And I'm also going to set this spotlight to be movable, which means it will actually dynamically light, so we won't get any lighting building errors over here. Now, one of the little caveats here is that the intensity of a spotlight is measured in the thousands. So if I set this to 5, it doesn't really do much. Set it to 5,000, you can see the, light, the lighting effects here which means that over in our blueprint, the values we're getting out here are going to be values like 1, 2, 3, 4, which means that we need to start off by multiplying this, typing start, choose float times float, and I'm going to multiply it by 1,000. The next thing we need to do is actually grab the spotlight, which we want to modify. So back over in the map, make sure we have the spotlight selected. In the blueprint, right-click and choose add reference to spotlight 1. Drag off the spotlight and type brightness and we're going to choose the set brightness node. Now the value we want for the new brightness is simply the result of this multiplication. So we're going to get say 3 times 1000 equals 3000 and that's going to be the brightness here. We want the brightness to update along with the timeline so we'll drag off the update pin and connect it to the set brightness input. And the last thing we need to do is actually activate this timeline. We need it to play. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose begin play, connect that up to play, and compile the blueprint. Back in when I hit simulate, you can see now that our light is flashing. Uh, it's not very intense, but that's easy. We can start changing some of the values of the brightness. This is a fairly rough implementation, but before we actually go and make some more changes and uh, implement this a little bit better, I'm going to show you one other feature of the timeline, and that is the event track. Back in the blueprint, I'm going to double click on the timeline, and I'm going to add a new event track. I'm going to call this Sparks. Similar to the brightness, the one we were doing before, we simply shift click to add keyframes. Now these keyframes are very special. We don't have a line like we do here which modifies values. On the event track, this simply signifies the point in which we want this event to actually occur. If we go back over to the event graph, you can see that I now have this Sparks output here. I'm going to drag out from this Sparks pin choose spawn emit at location, find the spark burst, and for now I'm simply going to set the location to be the same location as the spotlight. Soft spotlight will drag, 
get up to location, and we'll connect yourself to the location here. And back in the map, when we press simulate, you can see that the sparks will actually burst from there every time that event fires. That's all for this video tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it.